Whatever experience you are looking to have is just another creation of the mind. It's not the essence of what I've been guiding you towards. You cannot generate your true self, it's already present. Acknowledge that what you are seeking is already within you. Your mind and skepticism may lead you to search for more, but remember that you are not your body, it is a conduit, a manifestation, an extension of your true nature. These vehicles enable consciousness to encounter distinctive experiences and learn more about itself. You are not the observer, you are the awareness of the act of seeing. Do not permit doubt to overcome the truth. If you're in pursuit of the truth, embrace it. It's the reality, and do not let anything pull you away from it. Once you become aware of your enlightenment, you'll realize that you have always been enlightened. This isn't a new discovery, but a recognition of what has always been present. Rather than focusing on seeking enlightenment, try to be present in the present moment. Understand that you're already enlightened and stop waiting for something to happen. The path to enlightenment is not a traditional journey to a specific destination, but rather a realization of your true nature. Upon realizing your enlightenment, you'll also recognize that you have always been enlightened. Many believe that if they aren't experiencing peace, joy, or clarity, they must not be their true self. This belief can prolong the journey towards enlightenment because you're searching for something you already possess. You wouldn't keep searching for your TV remote if it was already in your hand, would you? Life is singular, and there is only one entity that exists, whether you call it God, consciousness, life, or you. This truth is undeniable, and it's crucial not to let doubt sway you from it. The mind is adept at generating falsehoods, but what I am indicating is already present. There's no need to generate it, merely recognize it. Achieving enlightenment, or understanding what you truly are, necessitates the abandonment of all expectations. The mind may have created an illusion of what it seems like, maybe due to overexposure to spiritual content, but it's already here. It's not a theoretical realization. Why use the mind to grasp something that it doesn't even comprehend? You are beyond the mind's control. Despite the mind's immense strength, you are more powerful. You are the source of existence. The mind exists to grasp the truth. In due time, the mind's doubts will be absurd. Everything it says will be a joke because doubt cannot overpower the truth. Feeling upset or distressed due to overthinking doesn't mean that your true nature disappears. It's crucial to understand that you can never not be yourself, which is consciousness. Once you break free from the last illusion, you'll realize that this truth has always been present. Despite being trapped in the mind stories, you were still this truth. It's just a matter of recognizing that you are already what you were searching for, enlightenment is just a realization. Enlightenment won't make you start levitating or shining like a heavenly being, and you won't detach from reality. You'll still have to face life's difficulties and obstacles. However, your perspective will change. You'll be less attached to the beliefs and stories that once ruled your thoughts and actions. You'll be able to let go of control and go with the natural flow of life. This realization will also bring a sense of deep peace and contentment. You won't be searching for something you already have. You'll be able to live in the present moment without getting caught up in past regrets or future worries. You'll see the beauty in everything and find joy in the simplest things. The journey towards enlightenment can be challenging and lengthy, but it is well worth it. Unlike a physical destination, it is a realization that you come to. Once you finally arrive at this realization, you will see that it has always been present within you, waiting for you to discover it. Enlightenment is not about discovering something new, 
but rather realizing what has always been there. It can be difficult to let go of the limiting beliefs and false stories that we have attached to ourselves, much like building a rubber band ball. However, as we continue to break free from these illusions, our true selves become more visible. It's crucial to recognize that feeling negative emotions or having an unclear mind does not mean that you are not your true self. The realization of enlightenment is the same for everyone, and it's not about attaining supernatural abilities or escaping from reality. Rather, it's a realization that brings inner peace, contentment, and a deeper connection to the present moment. Remember, you are already what you are seeking, and the journey towards enlightenment is a process of shedding the illusions that have clouded your perception of yourself. To truly accept your power and overcome doubt, it's important to acknowledge the truth about who you are. Your thoughts do not define you, and neither does your body. These are experiences that you are having, but they are not the essence of your being. You don't need to rely on beliefs to understand this truth, as beliefs can create doubt. Instead, simply realize and be what you already are, consciousness. Enlightenment is not a feeling or a physical sensation that you can achieve through the body. It is always here, no matter what emotions you are experiencing or what your body is feeling. It's not something to be sought after or searched for, as it is already within you. The key is to let go of the need to try and just be present in the moment. To overcome doubt, challenge it by asking yourself questions and then experiencing the truth firsthand. For example, instead of relying on the mind to find answers, ask yourself if you are aware and then confirm it through your own experience. Recognize that awareness has always been with you and cannot be damaged or affected by external factors. Essentially, you are not the external things you perceive because you are the one who is aware of them. The things we perceive are constructs of the mind, and in reality, nothing is really happening except for life itself. Life is a singular entity, and you are a part of it. No matter what is happening in life, it is still life. You are part of everything and that fact cannot be changed by any doubts in your mind. Therefore, it is important to let go of doubt and acknowledge the power and truth within you. This truth is not something that can be known solely on a mental level.